Time has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sangratur. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. In ages past, Sangratur was a place of light. But I fear that is no longer the case. We must be prepared for anything. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great oaks of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. You may hope if you wish, my friend. I will not judge. My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sangratur. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Also, a god of well-earned luck. I thought this could not hurt. The catacombs contain two shrines dedicated to the Divines. We must consecrate them in Stendar's name. When that is done, the Ring of Stendar's Mercy should open the vault doors. It is written that Alessia received the divine inspiration for her slave rebellion at Sangratur. And so, built, we should avoid... The portal is open. Go now. Return with the amulet of... Could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Farn. Shut up, Farn. Brings you to Sacred Tor, old friends. Looking for an amulet, perhaps? In a Marco. How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every move? Psy, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Molok Ball, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Baal. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! And the Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines! You mean your ward of Stendar, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. Manimarco again. Manimarco has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Manimarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. He may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Sai, are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that. Through that gate lies the crypt of heroes. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place. Where the dead are restless and angry.
Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Morlock Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Mani Marco.
moment, my friends. I... I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Yeah. I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I... I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Sets tears. I thought I could handle this. Then a Marco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. I have pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. When the Marco filled my head with shattered memories, they're like broken glass. With every beat of my heart, they stab into that voice. When the Marco's voice it taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end, he never broke my will, but he broke something. I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the Halls of Torment, only to give up now. <sighs> My pain has subsided. Let us make haste and finish this. We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. We must take care to respect their resting place. The shrine is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite anxious to see you. Again, the King of Worms defiles the memory of the honor's dead. I have no wish to disfigure the corpses of my old comrades of the Dragon Guard. We must consecrate the shrine. to right the wrongs of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. Now, 
We have only to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. One more shrine. One more shrine. You certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? The second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. I do not recall its solution. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered.
Corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a Riften brothel. 
It must feel very much like home to you, You mean Titan. a crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. The amulet the of kings will be mine! Us, Grace, and the sword of my father. You will not win, Anna Marco. Soon, you will know the extent of my power and bow before me. Through the power of the amulet of kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Mani Marco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Mani Marco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By all means, my old friends. Try and stop me. to the Vault of Kings. The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Stand in the casting circle and direct the ring of the doors to lift the ward. The 
Door should open wide. Look, the amulet. I can see it from here. Another Marco!
nothing. I am Manimarco! Keep Manimarco occupied. I'll close the portal. Close the portal. Necromancer Tamriel has ever known. This is merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Worm! You think you can betray the lord of brutality and domination without consequence? You will pay for your arrogance. You will ride in agony for the rest of eternity. 
Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others. Everything Menemako did was designed to pit us against each other. We can't let that happen. Look what we can accomplish when we work together. How uncharacteristically optimistic of you, Titanborn. I may have that embroidered. It is done. The Amulet of Kings is ours once again. Manamaka will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out-scheme the God of Schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot admit. Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog, I have not forgotten, Vestage. Is another piece of the... Companions assemble once more. Travel to the harbor.
Welcome back, Vestige. News of Manamarco's demise spreads far and wide. Like worms, his followers burrow deep into the earth to escape the searing light of the coming dawn. As ever, straight to the point. You've done the impossible. The King of Worms has been consumed by the wrath of Molog Baal. The power of his worm cult is broken forever. That is the grim truth of the matter. But the Amulet of Kings is in our possession, and there is still much to do. In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams, and Molog Baal... Behold the fate of the King of Worms. It was a misunderstanding, Great One! Let me serve you! Let me prove my loyalty! No more, I beg of you! <laughs> Manamarco's torment will be endless. The God of Schemes will use him to set an example. All who follow him will know you cannot hope to betray the greatest of betrayers. I cannot help but pity him, despite all he has done. But this is not why you were called here, Vestige. Come, Sizerharm will speak with you first. The greatest of the sword saints, Divard, tells us that destiny is a chain, forged one link at a time. Our chain is nearly complete. There is but one link remaining. It is you, my friend. You are the Link. I will not bore you with effusive praise, but state it plainly. You are a great warrior and a trusted friend. And we would like to extend you an offer. When Emperor Varen first brought the five companions together, he did so in the hope of creating a Tamriel where all men could live freely and safely beneath one banner. The five companions failed, betrayed from within by one of our own. The Worm King, Manamarco. All that came after was the result of one man's treachery. Now four of the- We want you to join us as our fifth member. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. Don't look so grave. This is largely symbolic. But please, humor an old soldier. I, uh, perhaps you were right. Forgive an old warrior's foolish notions. This is not the time for silly dreams. You should go speak with Lyris now. It's been a long road, hasn't it? My father used to say that if you avoid all of life's abrasions, you'll never be polished enough to shine. <laughs> we must be pretty damn shiny by now. I've been thinking about our adventures and the hardships we've faced together. We're in the last leg of this journey, aren't we? Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean... Assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molag Ball. Bloody business war. There was a time that I loved my axe for its sharpness and my armor for its sheen, but... No more. Today I love what they defend. Me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Skyrim and settle down. Squeeze out a few whelps. Maybe raise sheep or grow cabbages. What? No. Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn, shepherd, farmer, housewife. I need to be out in the wind and wild. And if I ever find my life mate, he'll feel the same way. My turn. What's your one regret about all we've been through? <laughs> You're a hard heart, eh? No regrets, no tears, no doubts. Don't look back unless you're planning to head in that direction. I guess that's exactly the kind of person we need right now. Oh, <laughs> lots of things. Friends lost, missed opportunities, failed endeavors. Maybe the best we can hope for is to end up with the right regrets. One last thing. You like mead. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. 
To Molag Ball, that ugly s Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. The farmer doesn't thank the cow when it voids itself on the field, but it still makes the crops grow taller. I suppose it is, but that wasn't the reason for this heartwarming reunion. Vern and I have spoken at length since you recovered the amulet, and have determined our final course of action. First, the plane meld must be stopped. Even now, forces gather and plan an assault on Oblivion itself. You must join them. Then, and only then, can you take the fight to Molag Baal himself, to restore protection to Nern and reclaim your soul. I know more about the Daedra than any man or Mur alive. For good or ill, my family has always kept ties with the forces of Oblivion, and this much I know. One cannot kill a Daedric Prince. But we have. With the amulet in our possession, we may be able to wound him, severely, and in the process force him to relinquish every last soul he has stolen, including your own. This is where your condition works to your benefit. The ritual we performed with the Amulet of Kings caused the soul burst and damaged the veil between worlds. If the damage is to be repaired, I must attempt the ritual again, this time with you. Only if we use it here on Nern. But if we were to travel to Cold Harbor, we might be able to harness its power, imbue you with divine agency enough to challenge the Daedric Prince. But there is a price. Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will consume someone's soul, utterly. One cannot channel the power of the gods without paying such a price. More specifically, one of our three companions. I suspect that's why they're so nauseatingly over-appreciative and fawning. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack, when the time comes. So you said before the vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. Penance for my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be Sire, the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Tharn. Saving your own backside again. Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. I am the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige... Come here. I have some final words for you. It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. That millions of others may live, yes. Do not be troubled. Any one of us would gladly make such a sacrifice. As Thaun has said, there are already plans in motion to infiltrate Cold Harbor. You must be part of them. The chains that anchor us to oblivion draw us ever closer. They must be severed once and for all. When the plane meld has been thwarted and the dust has settled, the five companions will gather one last time to face our destinies. The god of schemes must be stopped, Vestige. That is the only thing that matters now. <laughs>